Hey everybody, welcome. Um, I'm a bad, bad boy. Uh, I'm still in the middle of filming another review, and I don't normally like to start one project before I've finished another, uh, but this has been staring at me on my shelf for a while now. Field Commander Alexander, uh, designed by Dan Verson and published by DVG, is an old friend of mine. Um, it would have been one of my very first reviews uh, had my original copy not met with an unfortunate, untimely end. Um, but anyway, I've been dying to get it back on my table. And it's been staring at me from the shelf. I want to open it up and uh, get a look at the goodies inside. So I uh, thought you might like to join me. Let's get this shrink wrap off and have a look inside Field Commander Alexander by DVG. We've got our box. This is the uh, new reprint, by the way. And it is uh, currently available at DVG's website. All right. Nice tight-fitting box here. There we go. All right. We've got our rules. And they appear to be, if you're familiar with DVG's rule books. They are more narrative in style. This was a fairly straightforward game, though. Uh, if you're familiar with Field Commander Napoleon, uh, this game is actually a lot more straightforward. So, uh, if you're familiar with the Commander system, it should be very easy for you to pick this game up. 13 pages of rules. And then a sample turn in the back. Nice glossy color rule book. Here is our player log and the little battlefield area where you'll be setting up your counters to do battle with each other. Uh, I usually use a separate area from this uh, along with a player log to keep track of your campaigns. Uh, it's glossy, there's one copy, so you'll need to make uh, photocopies. Here is our counter sheet. Ah, uh, yes, nice 5 eighths counters, glossy finish. We've got Alexander's armies, Persians, oh yeah, glory markers, insight markers, prophecies. Glory, ah uh, yes, battle plans, very nice counters, very attractive. And we got a d6. Okay. Let's break. We've got four mounted campaign maps here. Let's break and I'll open them up and show them to you. Here is the first mounted map, uh, the first of Alexander's career. It is Granicus. Here's our supply area up here. Alexander starts down here, and he's going to be working his way this way on the map. Set up instructions, turns, options, operations, and the turn sequence are all conveniently printed right there on the map. Here's the second mounted map. It's Issus, and Alexander will start down here in Lycia, 
and work his way to the east towards Issus and to finally end up down here in Sidon. Uh, again, all your essential charts and everything are located right here on the game board. The third campaign, the uh, fortified fortress port city of Tyre, Alexander's armies will need to either build a land bridge across or attack by sea to knock down the city's walls in order to gain entrance for Alexander's armies. And the final campaign, Gaugamela. Alexander and his army starts down here in Damascus and must make the long, laborious, expensive trek across India, capturing the uh, objective areas, winning the Battle of Hydaspides, Hydaspes, however you pronounce that, and must make their way back to Babylon. Um, yeah, that's the fourth and final mounted map. And that's it, everyone. That's everything you get in Field Commander Alexander. Four nice mounted maps, nice, big, colorful, glossy components, a short rule book. Yeah, can't wait to get this back on my table. Really looking forward to uh, playing it and reviewing it for you. All right, everyone, take care. Happy gaming.